On today's video, we'll talk about raising costs in rent and how we can solve it. Torture Top Real Estate. On today's video, we're going to talk about rising rent costs out in the Inland Empire, and what we can do it, why are we there, and is it ever going to be fixed? So I'm a renter. I'll admit that. I live in downtown. My rent just went up $200 per month. But the problem is, is that we just have no supply of rentals. And how can we ever change that? California tried to uh, just pass SB9 and SB10, but now cities and rivers that are fighting homeowners being able to build uh, three more units on their property because they think it's going to ruin their community and they're just gonna have renters everywhere. So what can we do to actually solve this problem? The problem is, is that it hasn't just started now. This is a problem that we've been facing since the last uh, crash in the market. You know, when that crash happens, small banks aren't able to still give out loans to construction people to build apartments to. Uh, they change zoning laws to make it harder for builders to build. Three, a lot of people actually left the industry when that market crashed and all those construction people had to go find other jobs. Some of them just didn't come back. And now we're at a point where if you're an investor, it makes sense to build an apartment. Uh, Dean Cook, one of our developers, is about to close on a property on Magnolia that he's gonna build some units and build another set of units out in Fontana because rent's so high. So it makes sense to put uh, money into a project because you're gonna actually get it back. So that's problem number one. We're finally at rent high enough where people are gonna build but that's not gonna lower the cost. And I think that's the thing that people need to realize is that it took us you know, 10, 11 years to be at this problem. We're not gonna fix it in one and two years. I mean, just look at downtown Riverside. You have the M or the Mark, now the M, being built for the last three years and it's still not even done yet. And that's gonna I think be like around 125 units. So that's gonna be great when those 125 units come in, but think about it, if this product's been delayed, it was supposed to be done earlier this year, it's gonna probably be a year behind schedule. That's money that that developer's paying. So what are they gonna do? Charge, charge higher rents to make back their investment. And that's the problem that we're in, is that every law we try to pass just doesn't really solve the problem. The one law that I wish would have passed that didn't would have been to term, convert old building into housing like the Sears building on Arlington that's used for nothing right now like what if we could turn knock that down and turn that into a full you know six seven eight hundred unit apartment building that would help Riverside so much and it wouldn't really even affect the area but these are the laws that don't get passed what are my thoughts on how this will get fixed one as a city, we need to figure out faster and easier ways for developers to develop. You know, right now we just passed out, or this year we have to give California the, the list of areas that we think we have to build homes for the next 10 years. I think we have to say that have a plan to build like 19,000 homes. Great, we have a plan, but how are we actually gonna get that plan done? It's not gonna be by the city. It's gonna be bringing investors in and developers and developing the land. So maybe, who knows, maybe if the city owns land, giving that land for free to the developer but then making sure they have to, you know, have some type of rent control or things like that. Maybe taking away permit costs, you know, like say, hey, listen, we're gonna lower permit costs, which will lower money on your building, but we want the rent to be at this price. Who knows, even possibly finding houses that are already currently on the market that are maybe cash only deals or something like that, and having the city buy them, fix them, and then rent them and with some controlled rent. Maybe that's something we can do. But I think the SB9 and the SB10, uh, letting people build ADUs on their property is not gonna say, solve this major problem that we have because obviously we were having a, such an influx of people to moving to Riverside that we just don't have enough space for them. And the problem is, is that we're running out of land. And we're starting to see crazy stats where people are spending more than half of their income on rent. And then that happens, those people are never gonna be homeowners. And, and if they never become homeowners, then they'll never be able to invest in real estate. And if they never get to invest in real estate, then you're just gonna always be living check to check to check to check to check. And that's not something good to see. So these are some things I think that can help us in moving rent, but like remember, it's not gonna happen overnight it's gonna probably take us 10 years to get here it's probably gonna take us 10 years to get out of this and the worst thing that can happen that I know all these people out in the market are hoping for is the market to crash well if that market crashes all we are gonna do is a force this problem down the road even longer if you like this content hit that subscribe button if you like this video hit that thumbs up that really helps me in the algorithm also if you thought have different thoughts on this or you agree comment below I'd love to hear what you guys have to say until next time peace